If there was anyone who had a glow up in 2021, it was the QR code. My name is Michelle and I release weekly videos on marketing, websites, and all things design. Today we're going to talk about QR codes, how to make them, ways to use them, and how Google Chrome just made it easier than ever to create a QR code. Now this technology isn't new. QR codes, which stands for quick response, were created in 1994 by a Japanese corporation called Denso Wave, which is the subsidiary of the automobile company Toyota Motor Corporation. They were used to track automobile parts during the assembly process. However, QR codes weren't released into the mainstream public until 2010. I really think the pandemic helped launch them into the limelight because you see them everywhere now. And now that everyone's jumping on the bandwagon, you might be wondering how to make them yourself. I'll start by showing you Google Chrome's latest feature, which allows you to make QR codes based on whatever URL you land on. All right, so if you have the latest version of Chrome, you should see this little share icon in the search bar here. So if I click on this, depending on whatever URL I am on, I can easily just go to this option right here that says QR code. I can click this and then it, I can automatically generate a QR code that I can download. It'll download as a PNG. Now you're probably looking at this and you're like, why is there a dinosaur in the middle? It is using dino QR codes. So if that's not your jam, you might want to look at a different QR code to utilize, but this is a very, very easy way to generate those codes. This site that I usually use to make QR codes is called QR Code Monkey. And the reason that I love this is because I have the ability to customize the colors. I could add a logo image if I wanted to. And I can also download it as an EPS file, which is kind of cool because if you're using things like Illustrator, you can use that vector file and you can easily resize it without worrying about pixelation or anything like that. And you can also further change colors once you get it into Illustrator. So I like this option and it has a lot of other ways that you can utilize QR codes. So many people don't realize that you don't have to just use a QR code for a website. You could do it for a phone number. You could do it for email. You could even do it for a Wi-Fi password. Which I actually think this option is really cool. So let's say that you have an Airbnb and you want to leave your guests the option to easily log onto the Wi-Fi. You could set up a QR code and allow them to do that pretty easily. You could also use this for coffee shops or, you know, any kind of business or even in your home. If you want your guests to easily be able to log onto your Wi-Fi, it's just a super simple way to create a code to do that. So you don't have to just stick to the realm of QR codes are for websites. There's so many other options that you can use them for. If you're wanting even more options of how to generate QR codes, you can always check out the site too, qrcodegenerator.com. This also has the Wi-Fi option with a ton of other options, just like the QR code monkey. So you could do it for images, MP3s, you know, emails, texts, Twitter, whatever you want. You can just make that selection there. And then you could, if you wanted to do it for Wi-Fi, you could just put your network name in there, put your password and then hit generate QR code. This one's nice because it actually lets you choose different frames. So you could choose something like scan me. You can also adjust shape and color if you wanted to. So there's so many ways to customize these things and they're so simple to create. So it really doesn't take any kind of technological skills to make one. I think people look at it and they just don't understand the technology when it's really, it's so easy to do because there are so many generators out there for you. So I would love for you to share what your favorite QR code generating sites are and how you use those. Be sure to leave those in the comments below. And if you have any questions, you can ask those too and I can get back to you. What did you think? I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like. It really helps me out and subscribing doesn't hurt either. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.